we're back here today and we're ready to hike up this thing as far as we can. It's a beautiful day. It's a little on the warm side though. I, I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit. This is the beginning of the trail. We will have to climb a whole bunch of steps. We're hiking up a trail that goes beside this stream that goes up by beside the waterfall, uh, waterfalls probably. And hopefully we can see where it comes from at the end. There's almost no wind today, but standing right here, there's a breeze and mist blowing right in your face from the, the waterfall's force. Pretty amazing looking. That there is one of the big hotels in Gairanger. I bet there's an amazing view if you stay there. Right beside the trail here, there are some apples growing on a tree. I'm gonna try one. Like red on one side, green on the other. I'm gonna try eating the red side. It's not terribly sweet, but it's not bad at all. I've seen some evidence of some old uh, dams and locks that they used to have to generate power with. Uh, you can see one of them right here. They've dammed up this side, and then they've got that big screw thing over there that will open a gate and allow water through which will turn a turbine and generate electricity. They've dismantled most of this, not because they don't uh, generate electricity, but because they want to have the waterfall for uh, scenic reasons and tourist reasons rather than the power generation. This is apparently some kind of exhibit or museum or something about the fjords in Norway. It says it's a World Her Heritage Site. We're going to a little break here at the probably a little less than halfway point. Uh, let the kids play on the playground and use the restroom here and hydrate a little bit. This is the waterfall here, another one. This is part of the stream that we've been traveling on. I think these are wild cherry trees. They're sweet, but also quite tannic. They're kind of making my mouth pucker a bit. Completely right. I'm looking at this house like three quarters of the way up the mountain. That'd be quite a place to live. Um, I see people walking up there, so there must be a way to get up there. I bet they have a gorgeous view though. These are the options. Um, the the blue ones will be intermediate. Well, intermediate, yeah. And the uh, this one leads to the waterfall. That's four kilometers away. Okay. What's this? That would be a horn. Uh, so I, I guess it's um, that would be a mountain top of some sort. A is a plain. So these are these are plains. This is a farm. This is a mountain. It's just a, a name, so I don't know what. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is? Mm. This Boss. is a waterfall, yeah. Boss Boss is waterfall. Boss. So uh, yeah, big plains waterfall. Okay. We found a little refreshing snack along the trail. 
we found some wild raspberries growing. I'm gonna pick the ones that are ready and pass them out. They're nice and sweet. Uh, Rowan. This is Rowan. I hear it's pretty tart. Uh, yeah. Apparently you make jelly out of it. It's a common thing to do. Yeah, have it with the uh, game dinner. Venison and such? Yeah. Mm. Pretty tart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to try one, Timmy? Yeah. 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 It's amazing for a country that's so cold so much of the year. There's a lot of bounty here, if you know where to look. There's berries all over the place and, and other things. I think we're spending more time hunting berries than we are actually hiking. But that does take our mind off of the hiking. You don't feel the pain in your legs. So far, we found uh, raspberries, rowan berries, and juniper berries. We're hoping to find some blueberries and some wild strawberries and more raspberries. The kids just found another patch of raspberries. Where Arna said it's drinkable so I'm gonna try some a lot of the water in Norway is very clear they really preserve it tastes good I don't taste anything bad in that we're climbing up this hill it's a pretty steep grade I think we've only gone one or two kilometers I would guess from the rest place so we've got quite a ways to go yet everybody, everybody's kind of dragging though here's some little wild strawberries not really very ripe but it might get eaten anyway he reached what appears to be like a resting point it's got an information sign here so it looks like we're going to be splitting up our group. Younger ones will go down the mountain. All right, bye guys. Be safe. Timmy, we're getting ice cream whenever we get down there. So we've got a bit of a crossroads here. This way goes to, I believe, an overlook. And this way continues on up. We're going on up. We arrived at that building we could see and it appears to be a uh, restaurant and some old buildings. And then we have a fork in the trail here. I think we're gonna go right and go to the waterfall. So please close the gate. We're approaching some sheep that are lying in the path. Well, we're still hiking. It seems like a long ways. It's a really cool trail. It's put together with these big slabs of rock and it seems to go up and up forever but uh some pretty impressive scenery we're getting kind of close to the top of those mountains getting much more close to the peak we're not going to get make it to that fall over there which is where i thought we were going we're going to another one that's the one we could see from down below and i'm probably really shaky <laughs> We just came from that way and 
the trail can continue on up the trail can go down and I somewhere along here you can actually go under the waterfall we're gonna try to do that if we can the waterfall is here part of the waterfall and we're gonna go in this path around this way that should lead to a path under the waterfall Well, I think we're done around this waterfall here. That was pretty amazing going below it. Uh, I'm glad they had that. And now we're going to begin the descent. There is more trail going up, but we have had about enough for today and we're gonna go ahead and go back down.